Hey everyone, and welcome back to our Daily Devos. My name is Dustin, and today we are in 2 Corinthians chapter 8. So go grab your Bibles, flip, click on your Bibles, do what you need to do, and turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 8. We're going to start in verse 1 today. Verse 1, first verse of the chapter, it starts off by saying this. We want you to know, whatever he's about to say, we, he wants us to know, brothers, about the grace of God that has been given among the churches of Macedonia. So right out the gate, he says, what I'm about to explain to you is about how the grace of God was given to these churches that were in Macedonia. And then verses two and onward kind of fleshes that out. And so I, I encourage you, read the whole chapter. You'll kind of see in more detail how that's going to flesh out. But the question is, is what does the grace of God look like? How do you know that you have the grace of God on your life? Well, watch what verse two says. It says, for in a severe test of affliction. So they were afflicted. Bad things were happening to them. Bad situations were coming their way. Hurricanes were hitting them. Pandemics were amongst them. They had tests, severe tests of affliction. But they also had an abundance of joy. So in their affliction, in their pain, in the suffering, in the situations that that may have sucked, you know, the situations that typical people would have responded wrongly or badly or, or cursed God in, they found an abundance of joy in. And then the thirdly, it says, and their extreme poverty overflowed in a wealth of generosity. So they had affliction, but they also had joy. And they had poverty, but they also had generosity. That's what the grace of God looks like. That in in bad situations that you're able to find joy. That in, in, in extreme poverty that you're able to find generosity. That it literally says in their extreme poverty that they gave according to their means. That he could even testify that they gave beyond their means. In their poverty, they gave beyond their means. And then skipping down to verse 8, one of uh, the scriptures that is one of the most important in this whole chapter, it says this, and I say this not as a command, but to prove by the earnestness of others that your love also is genuine. Also. That word also changes everything because, you know, we've read scriptures where it says, let love be genuine. And but this verse eight, it says, let your love also be genuine. So, yes, finding joy in affliction is the grace of God. Yes, having uh, uh, having generosity in extreme poverty. Yes, that's the grace of God. But you know what it also is? It's genuine love. The grace of God pours out on you and you respond different than the rest of the world in every situation. No matter what comes your way, no matter how poor you are, you respond different than the rest of the world. And that is what genuine love looks like. Let's pray. God, we thank you for first and foremost, your genuine love. Thank you for pouring out your love on us, giving your son on the cross so we know what love looks like. Help us to have genuine love. Help us to give beyond our means. Help us to find an abundance of joy in all afflictions in our life. Help us to depend on you and to love you and to do what you want us to do, even when it doesn't make sense to the rest of the world. Help us to do that today. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you guys in the next one.